Well, we're going for a beer in a pub. But although the beer might just be beer, it's not just any old pub. It's the flower pot just outside Henley on Thames. And the landlord there has compiled a massive collection of cased fish. An unbelievable collection and a very historic collection. The landlord is going to give us an insight into how he collected them. And I'll tell you what, it's really interesting. We took the pub over 20 years ago. And uh, prior to that, the landlord, who was Fred Hewitt, had about a dozen cases of fish. But they are mainly caught by a chap called A.E. Ops, who was, an who was an architect for the brewery. And they had a great collection of fish as well. The brewery at the time, they had several, most all of the fish, I should think, were caught by A.E. Ops and cased. They sold theirs on to the, um, uh, the museum in Henley, the Rowan Museum. And when I took this over, there were no fish at all left in it. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll build up a collection of my own, which I've done. So what, how did you start? Well, I've always start? lived in the Henley area, so I've always fished the Thames for course fishing. And quite regularly, I used to go down and fish the Thames. What sort of stuff did you use to catch you know, back then? The uh, there was a lot of big chub about then, and so that was up near the uh, locks. Um, but we fish down here, there's a lot of, nowadays, a lot of big carp. So we fish the carp down here. What sort of size were they about the time? You were... Well, you've got one over there that, that weighs, that's 28, that one. And um, some go 30 odd. So big fish, big yeah, fish. Big fish. Yeah, big I know fish. they do get fish in there. Yeah, d different kettle of fish to catch a carp out of the Thames and it is out of a lake. Absolutely, different fight. A lot too. more powerful, yeah, a lot more powerful. So, you know, there's a lot of nice fish around here. What sort of method would you use compared to years ago? What would is it, are you using traditional methods or are you into? Sort well, of funny enough, they take them on broily. Even in the Thames, I take them on a broily. Yeah. So you know, use a broily. But um, and barbel? Do you get the barbel up here? Because I read they yeah, that's up by the lock weir, up by the weir, where the water's moving through. Big fish or? Yeah, all right, yeah. yeah, yeah, not too bad. And from doing the course fishing, what did you progress to then? You, I see you've got salmon well, cases well, around Well, I go to Scotland uh, two or three times a year. Um, I'll go to a place called, it's called the Blathy Hotel, it's on the Tay. It's in between Perth and Stanley. And now is that all fly or do you start spinning? It's, and then uh, go... it's different methods. So you can change? Uh, yeah, you can change up there, yeah. You can worm it still up there. And what size fish? You know, what, what is it like? Well, I had the record twice up there. Is that right, went, really? Yeah, two years running. There's both hen fish. One was 24 and a half and the other was 23 and a half. Oh, so they still, it's still good salmon fishing then? Oh, yeah. It's catch and release virtually now, is which is right? a good thing. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Trout fishing up there at all? Do you do any other can, fishing? You can you catch there? trout in there, up there, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Now, tell us something about the history because these are all or majority of what I call skin mounts, aren't they? They've been done traditionally. Oh, yeah. So, was it a famous taxidermist that did all well, this? Well, there's a lot of Coopers in here. He was the top man at the time. And then you had a lot of his apprentices. There was Annis, and there was Griggs. They were his apprentices. So I've got a few of those. Yeah. But he was uh, one of the most famous, if not the most yeah. famous? Yeah, and he, the, the, the apprentices all, all come off him. I believe Homer was one of his apprentices as well. Yeah, I believe so. And Homer, to me, was the, the, a perfectionist at the background. All the background he done the the reeds and yeah, he's got to be. I mean, you can and, look and, at and, and the, he was the best, I should think. And lots of the women that painted them back because they they completely wash them off. And lots of the women that paint them back are uh, sorry. Lots of the people that paint them back are women. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, they paint them back perfect, scale perfect. Because they do what each individual scale on some of them. Virtually, yeah, yeah. Virtually every scale because they, when they, they use a solution of borax and formaldehyde, and that uh, petrifies the fish virtually the skin. Wash it back off with petrol. Funny enough, modern days, really? and then that's stuffed. And but I think the modern day ones now are done with polystyrene injection. I'm almost certain that's how they do them. But quality-wise, the older ones, that I still feel they're the best mounts. Oh, yeah. Is that the way, yeah, well, they the are. way they are done, the care that's taken with yeah, them? Yeah, you've got nice bow front cases and the gold leaf and, you know, so, 
Yes. And how many cases are there? I, mean, I had a rough count and got to 60. And I mean, how many have you got? Because they're, they're even, you've even got a £20 one in the Gents WC, haven't you? <laughs> that gave you a bit of a shock. Um, I should imagine I've got over 70 cases here, there and everywhere. Now, one which we, we, we're going to take a look at and I'll go a bit more in depth to is an absolutely huge pipe up there over the fireplace. Tell me some of the history of that one. Well, it came out of a basement in Acton. It was pretty well smashed about a bit and uh, some builders found it and a chap who repaired it was Albiol from Romford a good, very good friend of mine he was and he died about two three years ago Christmas time and he actually said for the size of the fish he believed that it was the missing one in the Fred Buller book yeah which he caught some really large fish of Fred Buller and we believe that so no one's come up with any other Explanation to that fish? No. So the size-wise, I mean, it looks awfully close to fifty pounds. So what? What is? Well, the... they. Well, I think we put it at forty-six on the case, but them thinking about it and measuring it, it is closer to fifty. It looks it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So the age on some of these pike, you know, I mean, does anybody know, you know, where this one came from physically? No. Where this one came no. from? So no, no lake or river or what? No, 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 nothing was with it. it was so that pretty is well. The... The, all the case was damaged. It's pretty well in a bad state when. Took on a job to repair, and yeah. she made a superb job. A superb job, job. job it's absolutely. Yeah. We'll take a look at it. It's absolutely magnificent fish. Yeah. That one, yeah. Yeah. All of course, all the male pike only grow up to about ten pound. So all the big fish, uh, all the big pike are female, and a lot of them die spawn bound. When yeah. They have two or three years of spawn back up inside them, and they just die. And that's when they get the big girth on them. Yeah, get the belly on them. Yeah. 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 And that's what normally sort of winter time, February, is it? They 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 really get the biggest the fish. Yeah. yeah. Now you've got some other um, record or previous British record fishes in here. What what are those? There's Clark's know? Roach. I think that's five three. There's the previous one, which was four one, I believe. And there's a gudgeon there, record gudgeon. Really? Yeah. Oh, we we'll get a picture of that one as well. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how many different species you've got in here? No. You don't. <laughs> I haven't got a bleak, which I'd, I'd have had Albio. I'd like to have had about 10 or 12 bleak in one case. Yes. But we never got around to that. That was my next go. And are these salmon yours up on the wall that we can we, we, we see up on the wall there? Or those Not what I've caught, no. Not there's only one, one, there's one case right at the far end of the... Yes. That uh, me and my partner caught. And what are those two up there? What are they? What sort of size are those fish? You know, the left hand one looks really pretty chunky old fish, that one. Yeah, that's... I can't remember what size that is actually. It's got to be 30, is it? Getting towards that so way. Have a look. Yeah, we'll have a look. Yeah, we'll have a look. Yeah. Um, I can't read it from here. Well, I, I picked it up there anyway. I, picked, I zoomed in on it. That is about the largest one in it. That's what, that's an Atlantic salmon, that one? Yeah. Scottish fish, I imagine all Scottish fish. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I know it's another one Alvi done, so I'm not really sure that it's really. So these you would pick up mostly auctions, or can you still buy yeah, fish? You can get them from auctions still, or they but collect to collect. I get people phone me up, and say they got a fish for sale. So the woman the other day, I bought a trout off her on the wall there, on the on the left hand side. I'd keep collecting if they're like about, but they're not about. It's getting hard all the time. I'm well, you, I believe you can't case a fish now. I'm not sure. I don't think. I think it's illegal. Only a game fish you can do now. Is that right? I don't think you can do river fish. They stopped it because so many fish were being taken out and killed. I believe that right. I read it in the newspapers that. So, as I say, the the one that were, the main the one that were caught in Henley with the A. Elbs collection. I went after them. I didn't get them, but um, that was a sealed bid. And they, the brewery actually sold them. As a batch? As a batch, 22 cases. Okay. And they earned uh, some on board and put them in the um, River Rome Museum. And what there's, sort not, of there's not many on display there. I was going to say, what, what sort of species would they be? But they'd be all of it, yeah, they'd be the barbel, all the mixed. Green, the perch, yeah, all mixed. But that's a, a sort, of, sort of a shame when you see them almost go to. I mean, I've got some fish myself, I'm like this, obviously. But it's almost a shame because no one gets to see them and at least you've got well, the that public is, that here. That is the same. Yeah, well this is like a little mini museum. Yeah. 